All right. Good morning, guys. Uh, can you guys hear me? stop on this ONTX. I got stopped out on some on Friday or on uh, Mon uh, wait, what day? Tuesday. Uh, pulled back quite a bit, but rejected on this declining moving average, right? like I talked about. Uh, FTSV, I shorted 5,000 shares. I tried it a couple of times, and so far I nailed it. And I think this thing can pull back to mid low 30s. They had an offering at 35, so there's a support and a short there too. So I think another four points of downside easily. Up. I raised my stop, it didn't go yet. I'm not gonna stay around for long on that thing. A big gap up in the markets, like most of my large positions are gapping up. Tesla, my short, is close getting, is close stopping me out break even. I'm gonna stop on that one. This is a good thing. I want to be stopped out of this thing. The higher it goes, the better. Um, yeah, pretty much everything is gapping up. It's just an amazing market. And, you know, have to enjoy enjoy it while it lasts. Have to enjoy this. Fuel cell gapping up again. I, I really hope this thing can go to mid threes or something today. I want to see why it's gapping down. I missed the entry on Tuesday, unfortunately. The first red five minute candle, or this like f low 520, mid low 520s was the entry. Uh, NIO, NIO they, they, they could run out of money any day. I am, I, I'm not interested in longing this thing. I just and there's not really a good short setup here either. I don't know. If they announce a financing, that could be an entry spot for a long side, but until their cash issue gets resolved, I'm not really interested in it. AXSM and ARWR, I'm looking for potential breakdowns. Uh, and Salva stopped me up break even Tuesday after hours. I don't know if they have news or anything, but I stopped out in this low 620s. And now I'm looking for a re-entry. Probably not today though. I 
and then there's a bunch of small and micro cap names I'm interested in on the long side. BLDB stopped me out on Monday, and now it looks like it's capping higher above this range. I'm so tired of this stock, I, I, I don't even want to trade it anymore. I'm like 0 for 3 on this thing. I'm sorry, my cat is... Okay, so um, plug is stepping up a little bit too. This sign has a nice high tight flag. CNSD also high tight flag, which really tight on the 60 minute chart. And Doku too, this is also a high tight flag. A lot of high tight flags right now in this market. Wrong. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's. I mean, for me, this is. There's nothing here for me personally. I shorted some ARWR. I only got filled uh, <laughs> about a third size. Down. Yeah, I got feel a third size. Oh my god, it's going straight down. <laughs> oh god. So rad, I got stopped out pre-market on this gap up. Took out the Tuesday size, so that was my exit. Oh my god, so many alerts going on. Uh, RNG. SCDG. IPHR. Design. All right, let's see here. What do we have here? Oh my god, all these alerts.
RNG looks interesting. I'm passing on it, but this thing could be a nice, you know, dollar fifty risk to make. <laughs> I don't know, twenty, thirty bucks. Why not? Oh, Sim, I missed it. Oh my god, I missed the entry on it. There's too many things going on right now. What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. My god. Everything is moving right now. Absolutely everything. AXSM, I mean half size, short. Sava, they sold it off at the open. Looking to do anything crazy, uh, just managing positions. Oh my god, I got stopped out of pet Tesla on the penny here. <laughs> it hit 428.00 and I got stopped out. Of it. Hopefully, it doesn't reverse lower. It. Uh, my god, this alerts. Damn, gap up. Would have been much better if we had gap down and then have a, had an organic buying all day. Gap ups are, I don't, I'm not a fan of gap ups. And my yo, reversing lower. ITCI has an interesting level here, 3280. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. I like this ABLR. Looks really good on a weekly chart too. It's been going sideways for for a year almost. 
some really good estimates. BLDP Man, I had some really good entries on this thing and it just stopped me out every time. Trying to get in another half size on HSM, I only have half. If you will, still looks like he wants to go higher. I really would like to see low mid threes today. Would be great. In here, IPCI, have an order set an IPCI. Yes, the only looks good. Just coming out of this range. Unfortunately, I sized down like a week ago or two weeks ago, but yeah, it looks good. ARWR looks okay. Oh, I got filled some more, but I'm still in less than half size on ARWR. I got filled on some on the bounce. Okay, Zyme so is already red on the day. CDG looks good. Yeah, he also looks great. I mean, this thing could easily go to four or five bucks. Not today, maybe, probably, but 
I think I got some. Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake, these alerts! AVLR, I've been building a position in this thing, it looks so good. Looks really, really good on the weekly and the daily. Plan to, or not plan, no, nah, not plan, not as much. Okay, let's do some scans here. Shippers, just going straight up. This coup is another one I'm watching. Looks so good on the weekly chart. Looks amazing on the weekly chart. And has some super super earnings estimates and current earnings smart is another one looks good wow Beely what the hell is going on Amazing, everything keeps going higher. Amazing market. Okay, Intelsat looks like it wants to break higher again. I have 35,000 shares from a couple of days ago, I think from Monday.
IQ looks cool. Oh, Shina. Some Shina names are up big. Or actually, a lot of Shina names are up big. Brazil Desire. Wow. Fuel cell keeps going higher. And NIO is lower. I'm taking NIO off my, off my list. This is a very scary stock to belong. They literally have a few days, maybe a few weeks of cash left. They haven't announced any financing. Who knows what's going on there? I'm not risking my money to find out. Yeah, it's the ME. Maybe I should have added to this thing. I think. Would have been better adding the low 41s, not in the high 41s. I only have half size on this thing. And the volume is, is already at average, so it's gonna have some pretty decent volume. I did buy just shy of 7,000 AVLR. Two dollar risk to potentially make, uh, I don't know. $20? Why not? This is going to be a multi month hold. Oh, Tesla, really? It stopped me out. I'm reversing lower now. <laughs> Should have had my stop at 428.01. That's a little bit annoying, to say the least. All right, let's see. Comments. I haven't read your comments. EEM. Yeah, I know. It's going higher. Yep. Just breaking out of a 16-year range or 12-year range. No, wait. I can't do any math. Yeah, 12-year range <laughs> with higher lows. And it's had uh, 14 years of higher lows. Or, well, it depends on how you count it. But at least 11 years of higher lows at least. Yep, I think this thing goes to 70 over the next few years, or higher, 70 or higher. Uh, let's see. Oh, you grabbed some SDNE, great job. I think this thing is going to way higher. This thing should be, you know, closer to, to, closer to 100, in my opinion. Damn, I should add. You know what? I'll, I'll add some SDME. Okay, I doubled my position. I bought another 5,000. It's a little bit of a chase. I should have bought it, you know, 50 cents lower or 80 cents lower, but it's okay. It's okay. I think it's going to make a big move, and that's that. And that's that. I'm going to raise my yeah. Okay.
this influx that looks really tight. It's been building higher lows for the past couple of weeks, coming into this gap fill range. Hasn't broken out yet, but could easily go up to three dollars if it breaks higher. ARWR, I'm gonna cancel my ads on this thing. I have just shy of half size. It's enough, I'm not gonna go crazy on these things. It looks like a decent breakdown, but it's a biotech and you never know what can happen with this. Maybe it gaps up 20% on good news tomorrow. See if we can bounce on the rising 20 day. AXSM, I will add though. I will add my other half at 101 gets there. AVLR. I got into AVLR today. That's gonna be a longer term hold. And I've been reading up on the name, and I, you know, it it looks it looks like it they they, they could be you know could be uh, it's a great growth story, and they're executing really well. And it looks technically pretty good also, so it's going to be a longer hold. Let's see if we can go here. You know, it's been building higher lows for a year and it's just coming out of this range here. We'll see. Plan looks a little bit similar. It's more illiquid. RNG looks so tight. It's not really a breakout type of a stock, it likes to pull back, this is more a pullback type of stock, you should, you know, it's a better buy of pullbacks, but I don't know, this high tide flag is pretty explosive, it looks pretty explosive. Okay, AXSM, I got 
full size now, 7,000 shares. Let's see if they can bring it lower. a lot of downside there's really no support until maybe high 80s and after that high 70s it's been straight up 700 percent i don't know i don't believe that things go up forever i'm not a believer in that theory scan here. AUPH is another one up over four, uh, almost 450% in the past few months. Just amazing. a nice candle here. You will sell if this thing takes out lows of the day. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna initiate the swing short on it. Uh, on small size. On small size. Because this thing could be you know, something and risk. 20 cents, 25 cents with slippage to potentially make, I don't know, a dollar, dollar plus on. But ideally it keeps going to, you know, three, four, five bucks, obviously. Was your rad long or short? Rad, it was a short. Rad was a short. I shorted it on this day here where it topped. And it went down uh, almost 40% in, in, in a couple of days. It was one of my biggest trades of last year. Uh, but I got stopped out this morning on the gap up. Billy, did they have any news? I know China overall is very strong today. Really, with this kind of move, it almost must have had individual company news. It's up 14%. Or maybe it's like HDHD when it was up randomly up like 10% on the day or no news. I don't know. Can't I get the 
Okay. Uh, nope. Can't find any news on Bailey. Yeah. Just a random move. What's the news on this IPA shape? Very thin stock though. Fuel cell is, is uh, just following this upper trend or this uh, rising trend line. Below that trend line, I'm gonna start looking for a short. And the lows of the trend line is also happen also to be the lows of today, so that's a good pivot for a potential short later. Work beaten down recent IPO. probably have to close some positions before they close because I'm way over invested right now. I have a bunch of longs, a bunch of uh, shorts. I did get stopped out of Tesla, so I freed up some buying power there, but yeah, I'm just way, uh, way ex uh, over invested right now. Let's see, what's this OCGM? I should put a stop on it. Some of these things didn't go up as much as I would have liked. The OCGN did go up 40-45% and then they have this, um, what's the other one, this o ONTX, this one went up 80% in sell enough unfortunately. And now they're very close topping me out. Five, and these things are so beaten down, I have to use the logarithmic short. Survive. So had a nice 40% move from my entry, but I, I still think it could go to mid high ones on the next leg higher. This <clears throat> PLDP looks beautiful. Yeah, Baba. Yeah, Baba is is great. I don't exactly remember. I, I know I got stopped out of it once. I think I bought it on this day here and got stopped out. And then I rebought it a couple of days later. And I was very close getting stopped out there also. But since then, yeah, it's up 20% in a straight line. Hasn't been able to close below the 10-day moving average 
or okay, it did close below uh, on Tuesday, but other than that, you know, <laughs> yeah. This is technical analysis. It works. What can I say? I think technical analysis works. Combining technical analysis with fundamental analysis is just a winning, winning recipe, in my opinion. Man, I'm so tempted in rebuying this BLD, but I just cannot do it. I cannot do it. Did you short MBOT? No, I didn't. Nope. I never. I, I, I did. I was short on this day. I was short on this day when it topped out. I'm gonna show you guys where I shorted. I, I was short late day. Um, I don't remember exactly where I shorted. I think I shorted it somewhere here in the mid 18s. When it looked, when it built some lower highs and had a little bit of a range break here, I shorted some. I covered into this wash below VWAP, then it. And I came back a bit, pulled back again, and you know, shopped around. It closed kind of strong, and then it gapped down on on, on an offering. Uh, and I covered, I covered before it closed because it, it closed too strong for me. I didn't want to hold it overnight. And then it had an offering at 10.50. The stock gapped down like 15, 20 percent, and now it's way lower. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. If it had closed, I don't know, 20, 30 cents lower, I would probably have held it overnight. This Deutsche Bank looks interesting. It's been beaten down to nothing since 2007, straight down for years and years. And now it looks like it's bottoming. It has some higher lows here, it has a range break. There's no resistance on Vive until like 190. Uh, CEI looks like I'm gonna get stopped out break even on it, potentially. Oh shit, Kodiak. Um, 6803. Okay, I'm setting a hard stop on this Kodiak. It didn't really go as I would have liked to. I sold some into strength, but not enough.
so many alerts triggering this morning. I can't believe it. I haven't seen this many alerts in a long time. Thirty-eight alerts, wow. Haven't seen this many alerts in a long time. Damn, maybe a lorry burst. That sucks. Okay, I'm up at 40 alerts now. 
oh, Intelsat coming into this gap fill. I saw this thing on Tuesday, but I didn't. I, I passed, and it's just too low price. Like, I've been trading some of these low price stocks, like fuel cell when it was back, when it was uh, 50 cents, and when it was 75 cents. And, but you know, this IMPX was at 11, 12 cents. That's just way too low for me. But if it can go to like a dollar or something, give us a give us a short opportunity. You know, that would be something. But Just so, I mean, what am I gonna do? Buy 500,000 shares of this thing? Or a million shares of this thing? I mean, I don't even wanna think about the commissions. It's gonna be thousands in commissions. No way. No thanks. Apple, Microsoft. Enormous moves last year. RNG looks like it's reversing to. Yeah, wow, I didn't even see the indices. So the US indices, okay, China indices are reversing too, but China stocks are not reversing, which is interesting. See why I had an upgrade today. Looks like they're not really caring about it.
I'm going to do a scan in a couple of minutes. Oh, looks like I got uh, short a few on sell. I, I shorted 100,000 shares. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy with size. I really wanted this thing higher. Uh, this is, you know, it's just a small, small uh, swing short. You know, I'm risking what? Uh, about 25 cents to make a dollar. So, yeah. We'll see. I really wanted it higher. And the best thing that could happen if it stops me out and goes higher. ERWR is all the way back up. Yeah, these types of setups don't really have a lot of follow through. Like CLVS broke lower, you know, really didn't go anywhere. S Chen did the same thing, broke lower below this rising 20, then it went slightly lower and then it just came back up. I don't know. The overall market needs to go go down for these things to work. SDNE is breaking higher. Now I wish I'd bought more shares. I'm a little bit... If I had... Yeah, I should have bought more shares lower. If I had seen it earlier, I would have probably bought even more shares. Do the scan. I have so many positions, 32 positions, and four or five out of those are just some pump micro cap stocks. It's purely speculative uh, positions. Oh my God, IMPX is up 150 percent already. Why looks good. PCTY looks really good. Nice flag break, but this is not a breakout type of stock, unfortunately. I'll add it to the back watch list, but I doubt this thing is gonna make a big move. Or maybe it is, I don't know. BTU is trying to perk up bottom. What is 32 fund manager? I don't understand. Talk about what is 32 fund manager? lower 
Yeah, <laughs> 32 positions, yeah. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, I'm a fund manager. <laughs> That's exactly true. Yeah. But most of these, or not most of these, but a good chunk of these are, you know, I'm, I'm up a lot of these. Like, I don't really, like, something like Baba, I don't really even have to look at it more than maybe once per day. Uh, you know, these are, like, no headache. That's maybe a third of these. And a third are, a third are like, these uh, tiny micro-cap pump stocks, like MTMB, Torque, um, ONTX, Vive, like these, you know, small names that I think can double or triple. And most of these I have my stops uh, on, on, on break even or above break even. So these are no headaches either. And then there are, you know, some stuff I initiated today, you know, uh, where I don't have break even stops, but that's like three, four positions maybe. So, yeah. I mean, most of these are kind of low um, energy positions. And, you know, just a couple of, um, you know, like two months ago, I had like five, six positions on. And I've been slowly building. And I have, now I have a bunch of long shorts. That's all. That's always what happens when a market goes in a run like this. You know, I have like, I don't think I've had over 32 positions. I don't. I, I don't think I've had this year. Maybe I had like in March, April, when the market had been going on a big run. I definitely had in the high 20s. It could be a sign of an of a immediate pullback. Realistically, this, this could easily be a sign of an immediate pullback. Because my, my positions always peak before a pullback. The 30 number. It's always been magical in that way for the past couple of years. We are seeing some things are going higher, but a lot of things are kind of weak. I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, I did the scans and uh, there's really not much else for today. SCDG reverse. A lot of the things that tried to break out have been reversing. Yeah, if you will sell, I'm, I'm, I'm risking 25 cents to make a dollar on it. I think it could be very easy to pull back to uh, mid ones when it starts fading. I just didn't want to look. I was thinking about locating two, two or 300,000 shares, but Man, I would have paid like four or five thousand for the borrows. I only located a hundred thousand. It would be so expensive to short this thing, so I only did a hundred thousand. I'm not gonna go crazy. SCS, uh, what is this? Yeah, wow, look at that. Heck, I would love to see this thing go to 15, 20. Probably not gonna. The, the second runs are never as good as the first runs. You know, people buy these things in because they they, they think they could you know run back or, or make a run like they did uh, you know a few months ago. There's so many of these, and 95% of the time they don't. Uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna cut the stream now. Thanks for joining. I hope you all had a great uh, New Year New Year's Eve, and uh, I will see you.